ahead. Thank you. Uh, John, there's another case of somebody who was in this country illegally, allegedly murdering a young woman this time in Michigan. Her name was Ruby Garcia. Donald Trump is out there now calling this Biden's border bloodbath. What do you call it? Well, first of all, uh, while I'm not aware of this, the specifics of this case, I mean, that's just terrible news. And uh, our thoughts and prayers obviously go to the family of uh, Ms. Garcia. I mean, that's, uh, well, that's the kind of news no family ever wants to get, ever. Um, and we would certainly defer to local law enforcement and investigative bodies to do the, do the spade work that needs to be done to figure out exactly what happened to, to Ruby. Uh, and to hold the perpetrators accountable for that. So why don't we let the judicial process play out here before we start making grandiose bumper sticker comments about what this says about the border. And Peter, to folks that are concerned about border security, <laughs> President will be the first one to stand up here and say he agrees that the border does need some security uh, capabilities, that we do need more Border Patrol agents. And all that has to happen is for the Speaker to do his job Put that supplemental on the floor. Let's get a vote. Let's get those 1,300 additional Border Patrol agents down there to do their jobs. But everybody in this room knows that the bill that you guys keep talking about as a solution is dead at the moment. And Says you. It doesn't need to be dead, does it? The bill's dead. But says you. When's the vote? You, you ask Speaker Johnson the that. It doesn't uh, need to be there dead, are, There are real problems at the border while that bill just languishes, right? The, the chief of the Border Patrol is saying, exactly. of 140,000 gotaways, uh, if we don't know who is coming into our country and we don't know what their intent is, that is a threat. Does President Biden agree? The president absolutely believes that along that border we do have significant national security concerns that have to be met. But you said something really good in your question that I loved, that while, this, while these concerns are going on, the bill languishes. So what's needed? It's not, it's not anything more from the president. What's needed is for Speaker Johnson to do his job, get that thing on the floor, let's get it voted as, on. As they the had president. a chance and decided not to act because certain people in House Republican world wanted a problem rather than a solution. As the person in charge of presenting, uh, preventing a terrorist attack in the homeland, does President Biden think that some of these border crossers could be in the United States right now plotting a terrorist attack The president's Americans. confident that uh, throughout the interagency, DHS, intelligence community, uh, that we're doing everything we can to be as vigilant as we can uh, to ensure the safety and security of the American people here at home.